around the end of June, beginning of July, I switch from fishing for smallmouth to fishing for walleye. So I rely on worm harnesses because I fish a little bit slower than the guys who are pulling stick baits. So I rely on worm harnesses. I want to show you how I tie them. All right, let's go over how I tie a worm harness from start to finish. Here's one completed with a Montana blade and uh, green beads. You'll notice I have my beads here. They are primarily what I call nuclear corn. Everything I get here is from Jan's Nutcraft in uh, Toledo, Ohio. Here's one with purple blades, but here's one of my favorite willows that I spray orange and black. For some reason, orange and black works out great. And here's one of my mainstays for Colorado blade with a perch color. Just remember, Lake Erie, primarily walleye are feeding on perch for the most part. So just keep that in mind. That's their mainstay and uh, let's get started. So anyway, the first thing I do when I start my worm harness, when I tie it, is I tie the back hook. And these are two different sizes. This one is a, a number two and this is a number one. I always use the smaller hook in the back for a trailer and uh, it seems to work best for me. So I'm going to go around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to take the end of my line. This is heavier line. Actually, it's not heavier line. It's different color line than I normally use for my worm harnesses. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to show you. And we're going to snug that down a little bit right there. Now I'm going to put on my second hook and I'm going to put that up maybe about, I don't know, three inches, four inches from the trailer hook so that when my walleye bite my harness, they're going to get a mouthful of the bigger hook, hopefully. And if not, we'll get them on that second hook. All right. So let's stretch it out right there. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All righty. Now we are going to take that end, put it through the eye of the hook. If I can get it through the eye of the hook. There we go. And we're going to pull it right there. Now, what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is snugged tight. So never use your fingers because from experience so put it I'm using my scissors and I'm going to snug it there we go pull those knots tight that's in good shape now all right so the next thing to go on are my beads I use six beads you can use whatever you want six beads is what gives me a good distance between my hooks and my blade so let's put on one just for the heck of it, let's put a green one on here because it's kind of like a perch color. Stagger them. I can put, change them around here. These are nuclear corn. I love these things. They're almost the same glow as a perch. Let's put a green one on here. We'll make it look like, look like a perch back. And you know what? I really don't think beads make a big difference, but I just use these for the heck of it. No bananas on my boat, no. I, uh, I just use the same color beads all the time. All right, so now we've got two hooks. We've got six beads. And now I'm going to put on one of my quick change clevises. These things are pretty amazing. I love them because I don't have to tie 8 million harnesses. I only have to tie 4 million. All right, that's going to go down. And pretty much my harness is complete, ready to go. And on the end... What I tie is I tie a snap because my system works with a swivel on my main line from my, my reel. So let's do a improved clinch. Two, three, four, five, and just add another one for the heck of it there. Put it through that first little loop we made and then back through the big one. Wet it. And snug her down. And she's ready to go. Almost. So a couple more things of why I like the quick change. All right. Say I had one of my Colorado um, perch blades on there and I wanted to change it. I can just simply use my quick change clevis 
and stick that one on there. It works great. So uh, the reason why I put a snap on the end, once again, is because I run a swivel from my rod. I run two swivels in line, actually. One from the bottom bouncer, one in between, one here. And everything I use is small. Clip that down, I'm ready to go. Wrap it on one of my cards. Throw it into my harness bag right here with all my other ones. And I'm ready to rock and roll. Hey, so tying a worm harness is really pretty easy. Just learn how to snell those hooks and you'll be in great shape. Make some extras. Take some extra parts along so you can build them on the water too. See you next time.